What's up? That was too good. Okay. Christian boy dumb making the scary movie references. Look at that. Would you just look at it? A best master reference. Love that guy. Oh, he's making bad best master jokes. So I'm gonna have to get it. <laughs> Watch way too much comedy. I do, not you. I'm not accusing you of anything. We're on a good basis. It's mutual, right? We're on a first name basis here. Your name is Joe, isn't it? How do you know my name? Because there's a million Joes out there, and chances are somebody named Joe is going to watch this. I'm watching it. My name is Joe. That works. I just had coffee. Anyways, this is going to be a quick video on magic theory. I'm going to move this Tibble out of the way. It's actually a table, but I call it Tibble. I just do now, anyways. Um, here's some theory in magic, some just tips and uh, tricks that I have. The first theory that I'm going to give is audience management. If you do not know how to manage your audience, your show is going to go horrible. And when I say show, I don't necessarily mean stage performance. I'm more of a street performer, so I mean street performance or with a small group of people like you're at school. How do you deal with it? How do you have good audience management? Well, first of all, you have to have a good professionalism a persona about you, meaning make sure that you have a good persona that portrays that you know what you're doing. If people um, around you think that you're just kind of, um, you know, you're, you're kind of mishmashing things and you're not really sure of what you're doing, they're going to have a lower respect for you and your magic because those things are just connected ultimately no matter how what you want to do about that. And so, therefore, make sure you have a good professionalism tone, uh, undertone about you, and overtone, really both tones. I use um, both, anyways, because they're both important. So, I'm going a little bit astray here. I am like a sheep to the slaughter, I tell you. Bah! Bacon. I love bacon. Bacon's good. So, how do you maintain a professionalism about you and yet keep your... If you have a comedic style like I do, how do you keep that? Well, professionalism isn't necessarily about style as it is the way that you conduct your body and the way that you conduct your voice. Even in a funny way, you can conduct your voice in such a way that people um, are drawn to it and gravitate towards it and ultimately that builds the respect in your platform so people will be listening to you and so they won't be trying to mess with you. The way that I'm doing it right now, I'm switching back and forth between comedic, but yet the serious voice, right? So you can kind of see that in my voice. So study this video, and you'll start to see how that's done. Um, another thing is, what if somebody is trying to catch you out? What do you do in that situation? Where has some good um, advice by a name, um, by the guy by the name of Brad Christian. If you go to illusionist.com, that's with an E, E-L-L-U-S-I-O-N-I-S-T, illusionist.com, C-O-M, in case you don't want to spell com. Um, <laughs> I, I was putting C-O-E-M, and so anyways, I don't know why you wouldn't know. There might be some, you know, people like myself that don't know how to spell. Uh, yeah. Don't ever do that when you're, when you're with people unless you're very confident about your skills or else people will look at you like you're a two-year-old and they will not want to watch Mr. Magic Boy. Okay, so. Let's say they're trying to catch you out. What do you do? There's some things you can do. You can walk away. That's what Brad Christian would say. Hey, look, I'm a poet and I didn't even know it. I'm a rapper and I'm not even looking deaf. But besides my hair, check out my hair. Isn't it great? So. See what I'm talking about? I digress. <laughs> Not the show. And so, that's Brad Christian's advice. Is where I get it from anyways. On Illusionist.com. Once again, shameless plug for them. Love their company, so it's worth it. Even though they're not paying me for this video. Maybe they will once they see this. I like this guy. Uh, actually, they're more of the dark arts kind of styles. So like, I love this guy. <laughs> okay. So, um, <laughs> so what he would say is if people are trying to catch you out, like you have a heckler, be like, sir, 
Um, you, you call them out. Like, you can say something like, Sir, if you continue to do this, then I'm going to just walk away. And then the audience, if they like your magic enough, will go, Stop messing with him. If he continues to mess with you, be consistent with what you say you're going to do and walk away. If you say you're going to do this applies for all of life, you're going to say you're going to do one thing and you do something different, people lose your respect immediately. Respect is very hard to gain but very easy to lose. It's a good quote out there, kind of cliche but it's true. cliche or ish? I don't know, everything's ish these days. Five-ish, four ish hat ish love-ish, I don't know. So that's just some quick advice. I'm not gonna make this video too long for the sake of people's attention to spend. Hey, look at squirrel. Same like mine. Um, so yeah, hopefully that helps. My own advice, if people are uh, being a jerk to you, just say, you know what, I hate you and I walk away. No, don't do that. That's not right. It's funny, but wrong. Thanks. Check me out.